What if I told you Wildlife Studios care about bike race? What if I told you they're not updating bike race, but instead they're creating a new bike race spin-off game? Would you believe me? Of course you wouldn't. The last update that actually added content was in late 2017 for Android. But today I'm here to present Bike Race 2 for Android. I know what you're thinking. Many people are doing texture mods right now, God of Bike Race is doing new ability bikes again, and there's even a Bike Race remake being worked on. Why have you made another mod? Well, this isn't a mod, this is actual Wildlife Studios content. You probably have lots of questions right now, so let me explain from the beginning. A couple of days ago, I wanted to see what app's top 3 games had released before Bike Race, so I went to App Annie, which I usually use. I then also thought I'd see what apps they had been releasing recently, so I sorted it by newest release, and then I saw... Super Biker. Released December 23rd, 2020. The icon was the Bike Race logo with a 2 on it, which had me extremely confused. I simply couldn't believe what I was seeing. I went to Google Play to search and download it, but I couldn't find anything there. Then I tried opening the Google Play link straight from AppAny, but that just said I couldn't install it. At this point, I was almost writing it off as a future release that's not supposed to be downloaded yet. My last effort was to send myself the link to the Google Play page and open it on my phone. That said it's not available in my country. I don't actually know what countries it is available in, but I believe if you're in Brazil or in the Philippines, you should be able to download it from the Play Store. Anyway, at this point I knew this isn't a future release. The game is definitely out there. I just need to find a way to download it. Luckily, there are plenty of websites on the internet housing many versions of APK files to install an app, so after a few trial and error searches, I found what I needed. Also, look at this random graph, which you can make more even by subscribing to my channel. You'll get quality content like this every... Uh, two months or something? Anyways, let's talk about the game. It's quite different. First of all, we have the map. The map is like a Candy Crush map, where you play a stage and continue through the map. It's called a saga map, I think. And there are four bikes in this game. The dasher bike, the jumper bike, the stomper bike, and the ghost bike. They all have their own ability. And they are definitely not the same as their usual bike race selves. Dasher can dash, jumper can jump, stomper can stomp, and ghost can ghost. Although only for a limited amount of time, a lot like the duel's ghost ability. You can collect cards via chests, and the cards are used to upgrade the bikes, which I believe makes the abilities replenish faster, but don't quote me on that. The stages themselves are made up of two or three levels you have to complete. The faster the times are, the more score you earn. The score will place you on a universal leaderboard for the stage to see who is the best rider. Currently, there are 21 stages in the game. The levels used in the stages are mostly the standard levels, although there are hybrid levels, as well as some of the top rated user created levels from the editor website. Your combined score from all the levels will be displayed on another universal leaderboard to see who is the best overall player. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but currently I am sitting pretty comfortably at the top of this leaderboard. The gameplay of the game is pretty similar to the normal game, although the zooming is a little bit awkward and reminds me of the Facebook games version of the game. If you ever play that version, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that just about concludes everything I wanted to say in this update video. I will leave the link to the site where you can download the game for yourself in the description. And if you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.